Alright, welcome back. Here we go. This looks like it'll be a little easier now. I'm actually using the stand that the 3DS the um, game came with. It came with a little stand for you to put your 3DS on. I'm using a pretty horrible weapon for the air battle stuff, but it's pretty good on the ground. That's what I'm doing basically, is just holding down the L button. <laughs> L is to fire. I think R doesn't do anything in the air, but it centers the camera when you're on the ground. On the hardest difficulty, this game reminds me of Sin and Punishment, but not nearly as fun. I don't know why. I think I'm actually a little Kid Icarus out a little bit, but we'll see. I'm still having fun, it's just not as much fun as I was originally having. I like the dialogue as corny as it is. <laughs> I also love the music, that's... I think the dialogue and the music are the things that keep me coming back. I just want to see how much more ridiculous the dialogue will get. What she was just talking about is the charge attack, where if you stop holding the L button and you just press L after a little while, it makes a really special attack, a, a more powerful attack, I mean. I mean, it is a special attack, but it's more powerful, that's what I meant to say. Yay! Prepare for land battle. Oh, hi! You can see the camera, and you can see me, sort of. The controls take a little getting used to. I definitely took a long time for me to get used to those. You have to flick the stylus left and right. Instead of being able to just control the camera like this, it's more effective to do this. But it's hard to do. Especially when you have it like this. Alrighty, let's just keep using it like this. Holy crap! So I haven't played much Resident Evil 4 since I made that video spree. I don't know where that video spree came from, but it it came and that's all that matters really. Destroy this little pot here so it can't create any more enemies. Something cool is that in some of these levels there are secret paths that you can only do on certain difficulties. Since I'm on difficulty 4.0 out of 9, I can't go through this door. But if you're on difficulty 5, you can go through that door and you can fight a special mini boss and get a special weapon. There's a lot of replay value to be had in this game for sure. If you can hook into the gameplay, it's it's a very, very satisfying and fun game. But like I said, I'm just getting a little I think I've kid Icarus out. I'm sorry that the camera is so bright. I don't know how to fix that one. Yay! <laughs> Ice cream. 
Ooh, is that happy trigger? Alright, happy trigger makes it so you have charged shots constantly. You don't have to wait for them to charge up at all. Well, with most weapons, it seems like you have to wait like a second for this one. This one. This one? <laughs> Sounded Russian there. Which is weird, because I'm not Russian. Now this boss I might die on, actually, because I just can't wrap my head around how to beat him. I mean, I can. I beat him like ten times, but... There's something about it that's really difficult for me. I think it's the way he attacks or something. I, I'm not sure. Hi! The safest way to deal with Reapers is to stay out of their sight. Let's see, let's use my Mega Laser. Yay! Wow, that was actually easy. I think my Mega Laser helped. If you're wondering what I mean by Mega Laser, you have these little perks that you can add on to your character, and you add them on with a grid. So, however many you can fit on that grid, you can put you can put with your character. And one of them is called Mega Laser, and to use it, you just tap on... They're not perks in the sense that they're always open and usable, or they're not they're not always on, you have to actually use them. But when you do use them, they have these special abilities like Mega Laser. It's that big red laser that you're pink, I guess. It's the big laser that you saw in the video when I said Mega Laser. It's that. And then there's also one for Super Armor, and that gives you more defense, uh, higher defense. There's one for brief invincibility, but it's brief meaning like 3 seconds. The super armor I think lasts for like 15 seconds, and the mega laser lasts for probably 10. It's very useful for fighting bosses, I've noticed. But anyways, I think that's it for this video. I d I'm deciding if I should keep the first part in or not. The part where I said, okay, this is too difficult, I need to change the setup. I'm wondering if I should keep that or not. I probably will, just because that has my introduction. So, I guess I'll keep it. I'll play some more Kid Icarus for you guys too. I just have to practice a little more. And maybe I'll play some more 3DS games. This stand is actually pretty useful for not just playing this game, but actually making videos for the 3DS. It like elevates it to a distance that's actually kind of usable. Usable for video taking and stuff, so I don't know, we'll think about I'll think about putting more 3DS videos up. If you like this video, definitely leave a like or a comment. I like them. I like comments. I always say this, but comments are like Christmas presents for me whenever I get one. So if you want to leave a comment, no matter how mean you are, it would be cool. Thank you. And I guess that's it for now. So I will talk to you later. Peace out.